Unraveling the Meaning of Offhand, an English Phrases Guide. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we delve into the intricacies of the English language to help you enhance your skills and understanding. Today, we are going to explore the phrase, offhand, a term you might have come across in conversations or writings. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear grasp of its meanings and how to use it in different contexts. So, let's get started. Offhand is an adverbial phrase that can carry different meanings depending on the context in which it is used. Generally, it can mean without prior thought or preparation. For instance, if someone asks you a question and you give an answer without taking time to think, you are giving an offhand answer. Example, I don't know the exact figures offhand, but I can look them up for you. 2.1 Casual and Informal Settings In casual and informal settings, offhand is often used to describe a remark or comment that is made without much thought and can sometimes come across as careless or impolite. Example, he made an offhand remark about her dress, not realizing it would offend her. 2.2 Professional and Formal Settings In more professional or formal contexts, Offhand might still be used to indicate a lack of preparation, but it's important to be cautious as it can be interpreted as unprofessional. Example, I can't provide the details offhand, but I will ensure to get back to you with the accurate information soon. It's worth noting that offhand can also be written as a single word, offhand, and it generally carries the same meanings. However, when written as one word, it can also function as an adjective. Example as an adjective, his offhand manner during the meeting was interpreted as rudeness. And there we have it, a comprehensive look at the phrase, offhand. We hope that this video has shed light on how to use this term appropriately in different settings. Remember, while it's a common phrase, being mindful of the context in which you use it can make a big difference in communication. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more language learning content. See you in the next video.